Hello everyone, I'm Nathan Heinertz and I'm gonna be showing you a few things to help you be prepared for kayak fishing on the river. And we're gonna be on an overnight trip. So a lot of things to prepare and make sure you're gonna be safe on the water. So you can take a look at my new life jacket I got here. I just upgraded, I got a specific one. It's a, it's a Chinook made by NRS. It's real nice, it's got the high back. So you can sit back in your kayak and, and it's more relaxing. You can breathe, you're more breathable in the back. It's got a lot of pockets and accessories in the front. Easy to access items like your pliers, safety knife. I got a safety whistle here and a compass. Has a little thermometer on as well. In this pocket, I got my waterproof case for my phone. It's also got a connection rope here so that I don't lose it. Got a, a lighter, nice jet flame lighter. Never know when you're gonna need to have a fire, especially if it gets real cold. Multi-tool, again, you never know what kind of tool you're gonna need. Uh, if the fish is really stuck on there, I got my mouth spreaders here. Opens up real wide, especially those muskies. Got the big mouth with the teeth, and sometimes they really inhale the bait. So you gotta open their mouth up so you can get in there with the pliers. Now also in this pocket, I have my key connected to a bright colored float. That way it falls in the water, it's gonna float, or if, it, if you drop it in tall grass, like I did a couple years ago, you can spot it easily with the colorful float. I also have my fishing license and driver's license in this pocket as well, and it zips. Now also this life jacket, I got a, a tape measure. If you catch a nice trophy fish and you wanna get a good measurement, of how big it really is, nice, quick and easy, small tape measure. I think I bought it for about a dollar at Walmart. That fits right in this little pocket here. And then I also have a, a boomerang line snips. So if I need to tie on some new line or leaders, I got this, this little snips here that I can snip. It snips braid or really anything that you'd like to snip. And that also can be clipped on and tethered right here. Well, that's about all with this light jacket. Now it's time to show you the kayak and how I rigged the kayak out so that it's comfortable and helps me to be successful on the water for river fishing. I'm gonna be walking you through how I set up my kayak. I'm about to go on a 24 mile stretch in the Flambeau River with four other kayakers. It's gonna be an overnight trip. We're gonna be sleeping on the side of the river in hammocks and we got all of our food and gear for the overnight trip. So I'm gonna walk you through some things that I do to help keep organized while I fish. And that's right, we'll be going for the big ones, the muskies, and even some smallmouth and walleye in the rivers as well. So here, here's how I kind of rig it out. I got my St. Croix rod here, real nice open bale. It's good for those little sidearm kind of casts you gotta do in the rivers with, with you got a lot of branches and obstacles. That way it's you know nice and easy to cast. I got the braid and the fluorocarbon leader on this one. My back rod, this one I'll be doing some trolling with and some deeper water or if we're getting to some open sections of the river, or even lakes, I can do some more bomb casts with some bigger lures. This is a bait caster with a, this is a 50 pound braid, the other one's a 30 pound. And then the fluorocarbon leader on this one I think is 130 pound fluorocarbon, whereas this other reel is only a 30 pound fluorocarbon. So definitely more like smallmouth and and small musky, this is like big musky rod. I also installed these rod holders, which works out well for nets as well. I got this net, which I like for scooping up smallmouth because it extends. You just click this button and then the net extends out so you can scoop up your fish while you're fighting it. And that way it's easy to, to get the hooks and everything off. I got my pliers right here connected to my life jacket. And it's on a tether. A lot of times when you're getting the fish off the hooks, uh, the fish could be shaking and then all of a sudden your pliers goes in the water. So this way it, it stays connected. A sunscreen would be really key. I keep a lot of that stuff in the back here. Um, quick and easy to access. You just open this flap. Here's my firebox. When we actually set up, 
our camp area. I can pull up this fire box. It's got a bunch of um, cotton balls with petroleum jelly. It starts up real fast. Uh, different types of, of lighting mechanisms and strikers to get sparks. So that's in the, the dry box. I keep almost everything in dry bags just because it's going to get wet in the river. There's lots of rapids and water splashing everywhere. It's good to have dry equipment. Yeah, I got my first aid for safety, you know, the, the standard band-aids, peroxide, um, you know, some waterproofing stuff so it doesn't come off by the water. Let's see here, I mentioned the sunscreen. I keep some, a lot of sunscreen, I like the spray kind because then it's not getting so much on your fingers because it'll eventually get on your lures and baits and affect the fishing. Got a camp shovel. I gotta remember, I gotta add some TP, some toilet paper, in case I gotta make a biff. Bathroom in the forest floor. I got a, a head mosquito net, in case the bugs are real bad, especially at night, sleeping in a hammock. I'm gonna wanna protect my face from the bugs. Now I do, I'm gonna bring a bunch of water along. As you can see, I got my water bottle here in front of me in this little Scotty cup holder. And I have a, a pump as well that screws right on here that I can pump water right from the river, filters it and purifies it. But this life straw is real nice. If I want quick, easy water, and I'm really thirsty, I can actually just drink right from the, the water source. So that's kind of nice. It's like your own personal filter. I got my hygiene kit, you know, a toothbrush, toothpaste, just real, real small, real light, um, personal hygiene. So that all goes in the back here. And then in, um, in this back compartment, it kind of actually adds a little cushion so I can lay back. But this area here, just bought this bag. It's a nice um, dry sack bag for five bucks at Walmart with a roll and clip so it helps keep the water out. But in this bag, I have a bunch of snacks. You know, some granola bars, cliff bars. I also have a K bar military knife for safety at night in case uh, I had to defend myself from bears, wolves, etc. We also have somebody in the group with bear spray, which will be nice. A fillet knife for catching fish and having a shore lunch. Let's see what else I got. Okay, this is the water purifier I was telling you about in this dry sack here. Let's try to keep everything as dry as possible. But this is a nice MSR brand. And like I said, it, it uh, threads right onto your Nalgene, the, the wide mouth that threads on, and it just pumps the water right in. Gotta have clean drinking water. And then you can see here's my bear sack bag as well. We can hang all of our are anything with the scent really so even like toothpaste food items etc go in this bag and you hang it in a tree away from your camp area so that's that bag um, also behind me I have like my sleeping bag a camp pillow in front of me I have another dry sack bag and that one has my hammock it has uh, hammock straps my shelter and Trying to think if it has anything else that's really important. I think think that's it for the, the front pack then. This one though is where I keep all my baits, you know, easily accessible in the front. And I have bass baits, musky baits, northern baits. Um, I plan to, you know, target muskies, but there's lots of smallmouth in there. Um, it, this bait right here is, is just a dynamite bait. This bait's called the Whopper Plopper. Uh, River to Sea makes it. It's the brand name. I just sharpened all my hooks so they're razor sharp. Yeah, but this one has a little Whopper Plopper tail that creates a lot of action on the water. It's a top water bait. And it's fun to see those explosions, the fish coming up and just bam, splashing, striking at it. I also have some torpedoes in here. I got some crankbaits, uh, lots of different spinners. Here's a musky spinner, the baby girl. 
I even got a few different um, like crankbaits for muskie. This is a nice shallow raider. I'm really excited to try out this frog that I got because it has the two hooks that come over the top of the frog that makes it weedless. And it's got a trailer hook um, to get better hook sets. Because one year I had like four muskie strikes and fish on the line, I lost them all. But I think that trailer hook's gonna really help me to uh, get better hook sets. And even these feet spin on the back to create some top water action. So I'm excited about that one frog I bought. I got some baits for trolling as well. You know, throw a lure behind me and troll. Now also in front of me, I have a bag, another waterproof bag. that has all of my cooking gear in it and has all the food that I'm gonna be using for the meal that I'm in charge of. I'm gonna be making a, a gourmet breakfast also inside these bags, I do a second liner, like a garbage bag inside to really make sure that everything stays dry. So inside of this, I have my two cup, a camp cup. That'll be real nice for, for instant coffee, but also just for eating food out with a spoon as well. This jet boil, nice new jet boil that we're gonna be using. Um, it actually can boil water in 60 seconds. I timed it, it's fast. And that's up to two cups. So that'll be perfect with our mountain house meals. I'm bringing along breakfast skillet and biscuits and gravy, along with some oatmeal. That should fill up five guys. Got some, some apples and cinnamon and some maple brown sugar, oatmeal. Really easy, just boil water and mix it in and everybody can have it in their own two cup. And then I got my nice long spoon to get in the bottom of those mountain houses. So that'll work out really well. Now, what to wear on the river? You're gonna get wet, so I'd say a swimsuit or some quick drying material is great. Uh, anything that is like polyester is nice because it, it doesn't soak the moisture like cotton does. Don't wear cotton. If that gets wet, it'll soak up and you'll stay cold. And it'll, it'll just, you'll be wet and it might even start to smell after a while. I also love wearing Crocs for kayak fishing because you can walk in the water. Uh, it doesn't hurt if you have, you know, walking over sharp rocks, um, but also they're quick drying and they're comfortable. So I really like wearing Crocs in the water. That's, that's what I prefer. Uh, hat's really nice, keep the sun out, and some UV polarizing shades are really awesome because it really cuts the glare off the water and it helps you to see where the fish are and to see the current and be able to make some adjustments, be able to cast in those little eddies, those inlets. It really helps take that glare off the water on those bright, hot, sunny days. And if it's not so sunny and rainy, well, then you obviously got to have some rain gear. I got my rain gear back here. Just in case I need it, I can access it if it, the storm's coming through. Uh, we can pull over and make a quick shelter or even use my kayak if it's coming too fast uh, to hold it right over me for some shelter. So hopefully we won't have weather that crazy. Uh, I can handle a little bit of rain, but if it starts a thunderstorm, we're gonna have to pull out to make sure we're, we're safe. I also keep a, like a musky bait box for the bigger musky baits that don't fit in, a, in like a 3600 or 3700 tray. So it's just a dry, it's just a dry box. But that way I can, I can keep some bigger musky baits in there, some bigger spinners and top water baits. This is the clack lure. Oh, that hook is really sharp. And this one is really nice too, a good top water bait, especially in the evening is the creeper, just kind of walks in the water like this, kind of looks like an injured duck. Yep, so that's the bigger musky baits I got in this box, and it's also got a tether on it. Right here, so I don't lose the box if this kayak ever flipped over. And on the front of my kayak, I have a little 
leash, a kayak leash I can clip on other kayaks or can use it if I'm in, if I'm in some um, shell water and I gotta get, up, get out of my kayak and drag it a little bit, I can actually clip it onto my, my life jacket and clip it on and then my kayak will either float in front or behind depending on which way I'm standing and I can still be fishing as I'm going down the river. So I'm looking forward to this fun adventure. I think it's gonna be, be a lot of fun, a lot of good memories in the water and it's, it's good to be prepared. Make sure you got the right gear so that you can have a successful trip. Good luck fishing and tight lines.